Okay, so we found the most adorable reindeer burgers. Oh my goodness. Go Gulf Coast Smoke has the recipe for you. Let's take a look. What's going on everybody? Alonzo here with GulfCoastSmoke.com and today at the station, the crew is celebrating Christmas in July. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it out myself to prepare this dish for them, but I wanted to show you guys an easy and simple recipe that you could use today or you could use it six months down the road when Christmas comes around. And today we're calling this the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Burger. My six-year-old daughter came up with that name. I think it's the best name it could possibly be. We're starting out with four ground beef patties. We're obviously gonna be making a burger. This is going to be very simple. We're gonna season these patties on top and bottom with Southern Bell. If you guys don't have Southern Bell, just pick your favorite seasoning that you use on burgers. Make sure to get both sides. And for now, this is all the preparation that we need. We're outside and we decided that we're gonna use our Weber kettle to make these burgers today. If you guys don't have a Weber kettle, you can do this inside on your stove, that's no big deal. Or if you have a different grill, just make sure to maintain your temps around 350 degrees. And if you get your ground beef from your grocery store, you do wanna make sure to cook it to at least 160 degrees. We're gonna get these on the grill and we're just gonna wait, we're gonna be patient all the way till they're done. And burgers don't take long to cook at all, so just a few minutes later, they're about there. And now I'm going to move them over and going to give them a quick sear. You obviously want to be really careful. This is going to cause flare-ups, but I'm just looking to get a little color and texture on all these burgers. And just about 15 minutes later, these burgers are done. They don't take too long at all, but now it's time for all the fun. Let's get inside and decorate our Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Burgers. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with a nice bun. We chose brioche today. And then we're gonna hit this with a nice piece of lettuce. Right on top of the lettuce, we're gonna make sure to put a beautiful tomato. Always make sure to salt your tomato. Next, we're gonna go with some red onion. And then right after that is gonna be our burger patty. Can't forget the cheese right on top. And then we are going to crown our burger. But wait, there's more. Don't forget I told you guys that this is a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Burger. Let's decorate the top and get into that Christmas in July mood. First, we'll add Rudolph's antlers. And now we're gonna put his eyes. And last but not least, what's Rudolph without that big red shiny nose? And in no time at all, our burgers are done. I mean, honestly, I can't look at these without smiling. They're so adorable. These would be great for our kids during the holidays. My oldest, Penelope, is already asking to put up the Christmas tree because I don't think she understands the Christmas in July. But these just came out amazing. It's all about getting together, having a good time, whether you celebrate Christmas in July or at the end of the year. Now... Of course, unfortunately, we're gonna have to take a bite out of Rudolph. I don't know if I should bite the nose, the eyes, the antlers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bite out of the side. Mmm. A typical delicious burger, but today it was all about the presentation. I'm gonna go ahead and pack these up and send them on their way to the guys and girls at Coastal Living just so they can enjoy these and hopefully they're all having a great time at the office if you guys enjoy our videos, you can find out more about us at gulfcoastsmoke.com. We can't wait to see you next week.